Hello and welcome back to SpeedyNet, where we are looking at the master junction of our newest part of the network. <laughs> oh well, it isn't that masterfully made, but it is the one junction that is the most important bit in the network that is going to provide glass bottles to our awesome brewery. Now, before we get into advancing uh, further into this, um, I do think that right now is a good moment to do a balancing check on things. So, uh, let's go back to where it all started, which is right over here, and uh, see how things are doing. So, over here, um, yeah, you know what, I'll uh, quickly do a balancing check here. Hold on a second. Um, what? <laughs> this isn't supposed to be 126. This needs to be 306 or more. I mean, more, of course. Um, I wonder why. Oh. Yeah, alright. I think I have a clue about why this is. Um, if we take a look over here. <laughs> Yeah, we can see that we have a, I don't know, 10 odd vehicles going towards this iron mine or so, and um, we only got 3 loading spaces, so let's adjust that and add 3 more, and uh, oh, yeah, let's unpause it. Uh, I also think that because right now we ha just have regular production, <laughs> we might as well send a few vehicles back to the depot till production has gone up again. So. Let's send a few there, and you as well, you as well, and uh, you know what, to get the production up to what it needs to be quickly, um, I'm just going to clone uh, this vehicle, you know, the supply one, so that there's more supplies coming and it should quickly be up to snuff again, so there. Um, I'll continue with the uh, fine tuning and balancing. Um, one thing <laughs> that we should do at the start of each session that I record is um, check out how many of these fruit trains have been parked into the depot, and this time it's four. So let's release all of them from the clutches <laughs> of those evil depots. Because yeah, I was about to check and I was like, why is there so much fruit everywhere? But <laughs> now I know why. And over here, how's it doing over here? This is all still just regular production, though. Yeah. Why is that? I mean... Don't we have... No, we do not have any farm supplies going towards that station for the grain farms. Hmm. And now... No, so... Alright, so it's not being added to the cargo distribution. Right then, well, until um, there are some farm supplies going towards it, because we do have the trains and all that set up for it, uh, it's just that the cargo distribution needs to update. Until that happens, um, we're going to send all these supply vehicles towards the depot. I mean, right now, they're just running around with no purpose. I mean, they just run around empty. So, yeah, you can go to the depot. You. You. And yeah, there's one more there. You as well. Right. And um, yeah, until we see farm supplies here, then we'll release them. But when they're in the depot, they don't cost me anything. So, And it's all about the money, as we know. Now, um, yeah, because we had these trains in the depot, it's a bit hard to say, like, alright, we do not have enough trains. Because, I mean, they might have just as well have been uh, stationed in the depot. So, there. Well, um... Finally, let's check out this one. Right. We need another train over here. Most definitely. Yeah, <laughs> at least one. Maybe even two. For the rest, I think that this station... Yeah, this looks to be alright though. So, right then. Well, right now, we can start with advancing um, this part of the network. Now, we do have uh, glass bottles already. 136 crates. But, 
I'm not ready to start moving those about towards this uh, brewery. No, I want more quarries hooked up. So this is definitely a quarry that we're gonna get. But I'm also thinking about grabbing this one. And um, I know there's this one, but <laughs> I haven't really decided on how to do this. But, um, well, you know, I also said last video that I wasn't really sure how I was going to set up the trains for all of this, you know, with the sand, the stone, the coal and all that. Well, I am sure now <laughs> I have decided. Uh, basically, we're going to keep the stone and the coal together for the kiln, you know, in one train. Uh, and we're gonna add just you know a separate stone train for uh, these two quarries and then the sand you know for the glass is just going to be completely separate that's how we're gonna do it so uh, with that statement out there now um yeah let's get some trains and hook up edge of this quarry right and uh, looking at it just at a glance there isn't really that much producing uh, close over here I mean I know there's this town but really I mean we're not ready to go into passengers just yet so aside from this farm um, there is this quarry and there's not much else so uh, we're gonna hook up this quarry directly to the station there's not gonna be any um, you know vehicles going to uh, this quarry so yeah all right then well let's uh, let's get it sorted shall we Right then, so now we have this quarry hooked up and um, basically what I did over here was I just added uh, you know, a second train and right now we have like two trains going to this, this and oh, minor game fart there <laughs> and uh, you know we have another train going over here. Uh, or at least that's the two trains going over here and then they all go to the glassworks which I think is more than enough capacity so we should really be hurting for that um, so yeah here we are now now let's uh, get the other quarry hooked up shall we
Right, so this quarry is now hooked up, but as you can see, I've gone for the different station setup here because I see lots of iron mines, I see forests, and yeah, I can imagine that this station will become very, very busy uh, in the future. So, yeah, that's why I've gone for this setup, because it's inherently capable of uh, dealing with more trains. Now, uh, I'm not really sure how we're doing in terms of capacity over here, but, uh, well, that one's known, really. Uh, I meant this station. So far, though, it seems we're doing quite all right, really. Yeah, but <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, really, as we've just had a train leaving. Uh, also, uh, I do know that, yeah, this station isn't really that finished, because stops. <laughs> no, but also because, yeah, you know, it looks a bit bare, a little bit, I don't know, unfinished. So we'll quickly finish this one up. there all right so how we're we doing over here yeah see in terms of capacity we're doing just fine now the only thing is though that right now we also need to kind of like take this stone from that quarry and this one towards uh the kiln and the same is really true for over here the thing is though i can't really send coal trains over there so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna set up a separate train just for the stone not the most profitable thing uh over here but it is what we're gonna do so um Let's set up these trains, right? Oh, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I also see that I have forgotten one very important thing. <laughs> hmm, depots, yeah. <laughs> kind of forgot them, but uh, we'll sort them out right now. Right, so that's that set up. Now, I am aware of the fact that we got like one six wagon train and one three wagon train going over here, but I do think that that's more than enough. I think that if we start adding like two six wagon trains just for the stone, I think that that's a little bit overkill. So we're not going to, but I think it's all sorted for now. Good, well, that's a lot of quarries hooked up right now, and I'm curious to the production. Ooh, yeah, look, it has gone up. <laughs> Only a little, though. <laughs> I mean, I think it's like eight tons. But it has gone up, and that's what counts. Now, uh, another thing, uh, of course, is that because we're also hauling stone over here, we are having more chemicals to transport. So that's another thing to keep in mind. But, yeah, <laughs> I am a little bit underwhelmed by the increase in <laughs> glass uh, production over here. Nevertheless, uh, right now, I feel that we are ready to actually start hauling this glass towards uh, this station. So, yeah. Um, let's uh, get some tracks set up for that, shall we?
Right, and there is our very first train going for glass at the glass factory. Now you'll notice that I've made it quite a long train and um, that is for a reason. Because I intend to take the sand that isn't even here over <laughs> yet, uh, but I intend to take sand from here. So the last, oh, well actually the first three wagons are there to take sand. And well, you know, it will always be either carrying glass or sand. So that's why I've gone with still two locomotives as it should be able to pull those three uh, empty wagons just fine. So, there you have it. Now, all that's left to do, of course, <laughs> is to actually get some sand over there. So, let's get that set up. Ooh, uh, I just realized a thing right now, that Prenningwell Ridge over here, <laughs> the local authority, <laughs> isn't really in good standing with us. Because of, yeah, we might have <laughs> destroyed the environment a little bit. Not much, just a little, <laughs> so yeah, um, I think we need to go out there and do a bit of charming towards them. And I do know that the local authorities are um, very much charmed by landscaping and building trees, so uh, let's see, does this work? Come on now, <laughs> be pleased with the trees. Uh, <laughs> farming village over here. No? <laughs> oh well. <laughs> hmm. This might be a little bit more tricksy than I first thought, really. <laughs> I thought that just smacking down a few trees would solve any issue that we had with the uh, local authorities, but it turns out <laughs> They are somewhat, uh, well, how should I put it, unresponsive to tree placing. Uh, I'm not going to bribe them. Oh man, have I doomed up this, you know, our relationship with this village? Let me just place a few more trees, see if that affects them. Ooh, there, there, now it's, it's going up, it's becoming better. So, all right, yeah, 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 look at that, look at that, poor, we're making progress over here, maybe a little bit mediocre, right, <laughs> we can once again build, because <laughs> this town is now overgrown with forest, <laughs> wow, all right, so, um, yeah, let's uh, get this, uh, you know, this sand transportation set up then, and, yeah, about that, that's actually going to be quite tricksy, because, it needs to go from over here towards this station. I can't just have it be dropped off over there. I mean, that wouldn't make any sense. So basically, what I need is like a road around here till this point somewhere. Somewhere around over here is where we kind of need this. Yeah. All right. Um, you know what? Let's first build that road station and then... <laughs> Uh, think about uh, the uh, the rest of it because as the, as soon as I have the station <laughs> then we're good to go but <laughs> yeah all right um yeah I think here we'll over we'll do Right, and that's that sorted. <laughs> and again, we're very poor with this uh, with this local authority, but all right, we can deal with it. So basically, right now, we got everything set up for mass rum production. And how many? Wow, six. No, 76 of these manufacturing supplies. That's actually quite a lot, uh, if I'm honest. Wow, <laughs> all right, yeah, and it's only growing. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this develops. Do we need, like, another train purely for those supplies, or do we not? I think that this is the one train, you know, the really long one. Yeah, it is this one. Oh, man, look at that. 
Finally a train that has some real length to it. I do think though that already we are going to need yet another train because right now this is like a fresh load really. And let's just check quickly what the absolute capacity is for it. And capacities. So basically it can carry 60, say like uh, a small 100 crates. Well, actually, can I think of it? What, what? I mean, in terms of capacity, I don't think we really need to add that much more. I mean, 109 or 100 isn't that bad, really. So, you know what? The one train will be enough for now. So, right, well, um, I want to know, have we got any fruit trains that have been sent to the depot once again? No, this time they're not. So now we should be able to find out how they're doing in terms of balancing yeah look that fruit pile is declining over here there hardly is any fruit and the grain pile has gone and over here there's hardly any fruit waiting as well oh and there aren't any farm supplies going towards over there that's not good but uh, I also want to see how is this mine doing Oh yeah, look at that, it's back up to production, <laughs> and as I figured, there's a crap load of iron ore waiting. So what we're going to do is we're going to unleash these vehicles once more, and uh, that should really take care of it again. Now, over here, um, yeah, so basically what we have is, and how many of these trains do we have? We have four. But I think that four is a little bit too much, really. So, yeah, you are the one already leaving full. I mean, I was looking at the profit and I saw, yeah, you make the least, so you're gonna go back. You, on the other hand, I mean, what do you carry? You carry engineering supplies. We're gonna send you back to the depot, really. And, um,. Well, I know you have engineering supplies, so I'm not gonna send you back like straight away. But the moment you've dropped those off, really, then we're gonna send you back. So, come on, drop it there, and now you're gonna go back to the depot. And I'm just gonna leave it in there till at some point we decide to up the production even further, and then we're gonna need these extra trains. Uh, you know what? I might actually just sell you so that <laughs> we're not paying any. I don't know really, uh, upkeep or something. I think with trains you pay it, I think with the road vehicles you don't. I'm not really sure though, <laughs> I mean I, uh, that isn't based on any facts, I just think it works like that. But anyway, here we are, we got ourselves glass being transported to over here. Now, my, keep in mind that no actual glass has been unloaded over here. But um, I do think that once we have the glass over here, the production will go rampantly skywards. Maybe even to like 500,000 liters of alcohol. Man, <laughs> glorious. So, well, um, of course, we do need to take all this alcohol, you know, all these lovely fine bottles of spirit towards uh, the next place. And, well, this is where we're gonna take it towards hotels however not this one i mean they can just walk towards the brewery and buy their own bottles so yeah then we're not gonna uh, transport it to over there but uh, let's take a quick look at the map and um, well you know what actually coming to think of it right now we're just transporting goods you know just goods and then what we make from that you know that is what we have right now. So it's basically just a regular production. How about it? If we actually crank up the production of, say, like, all our quarries and coal mines. Because so far, that's all that we're transporting right now. Coal and quarry stuff. Now, what are they going to need? Engineering supplies, engineering supplies. I did saw <laughs> that we have a few iron mines over here. However, I mean, we know how to make engineering supplies from those. That's not really um, the thing. You know, we've done that already. So let's try for something different. And let's find out uh, what is making engineering supplies other than a smithy forge. A machine shop? 
but that needs like metal and chemicals and it makes farm supplies and engineering supplies basically an air machine shop is like a modern smithy forge I'm not even sure we have those on the map uh, let's take a quick look at those yeah all right so let's disable all of it and let's find the machine shop look we have zero of these that's not because they're never gonna be here but it's just because we're playing too early game for these to be on the map so yeah uh, basically, the only real other alternative that we got for uh, the engineering supplies is uh, the timber yard. Timber yard. Timber, timber, timber yard. You need uh, timber. <laughs> wow, <laughs> what a surprise. And chemicals. Now, we already know how to get chemicals because we have a kiln. So, I think we should be alright with uh, getting uh, some chemicals from the kiln towards a uh, timber yard and then we need wood from a sawmill now uh, that is of course also known territory for us you know forests sawmills so yeah let's uh, take a quick look at the map and see what we have in terms of industries close by and uh, you know what I actually want this to be even larger let's go full screen Wow Right then, we need uh, to take a look at where the forests are. Oh, well, I mean, look at this. There's a freaking whole cluster of forests just really close by. I mean, wow, <laughs> it seems that, I mean, over here, pretty much no forest. It seems that really around our whole area of operation, we've just started our network in a very foresty area. That's actually rather good. That means that we can make loads and loads of these uh, engineering supplies. Right, interesting. Um, so we have a lot of forests. We then need to find out where the sawmills are. Which, well, I mean, you know, logically thinking. Yeah, see, they're right where the, where the forests are. You will usually also find sawmills. So we have plenty of those to choose from. Then we need a timber yard. I do believe we had one close by towards the glass works, really, if I recall that right. Timber yard, come out, come out, wherever you are, there. Right, so we also got plenty to choose from those. Um, well, for the rest, really, I mean, we do know we have one kiln over there, which is producing a hell of a lot of chemicals, so. Yeah, right. Um, let's take a quick look at these forests again. So, we, what we have basically is a group of forests over here with sawmill and timber yard. And we have the same pretty much uh, down over here. You know, we have like this group of forests. Um, you know, joining these all up together, I think that that would be quite a big gamble. But well, then again, on the other hand, I mean, why not really? Say for example, we choose this sawmill over here. We have all this wood to go to over there. And then, yeah, if we put this wood, I mean, that's just, you know, it needs to travel a freaking long distance. I think it would make a lot more sense if we have this wood. I mean, this is a station really now, isn't it? Uh, let me just quickly... Oh my, how's the coverage? Oh, <laughs> that's a shame really. Yeah, and this community, I mean, this town <laughs> isn't really that pleased with us. And already, I mean, this is like a jungle right now, you know? <laughs> I mean, this is the Glen Forest Whiskey <laughs> because of all the trees. So I don't think that we should be using this sawmill as this local authority is clearly going to be, you know, uh, well, obtrusive and annoying and, uh, you know, disallowing all our plants. So I think we should go with this sawmill over here. And then, you know, we don't really need to use two timber yards. I mean, you know, the moment we have, like, the timber, you know, we can then take that towards one timber yard. Which, as it happens, I think over here... Uh, let's 
make this smaller again. Yeah, I, guess, I do think that this station actually accepts timber. It does! Look at that! <laughs> nice! Right, so that's already sorted. Basically, all that we really need is uh, to get wood towards the sawmills and then just uh, use the existing train network to get that timber towards the, uh, the glass uh, factory, really. Nice! Man, this station over here is going to be crazy busy, I can tell you. And in fact, it might actually be uh, worth it to... Oh, no, never mind. I was thinking about changing the type of the station to be one that goes around like this. <laughs> However, there's a massive hill. So, what we can do is, or we're gonna have uh, the station go like this, you yeah, <laughs> know, all the way around the hill and then hook up. Now oh, we're just gonna, you know, keep this station and just work with what we have. To be honest, the latter sounds more interesting. So, um, right then. Now, over here, where the forests are, we have this sawmill over here. And if we do it like this, we can now clearly see where the forests are. You are producing 99 tons. Wow. And you too? <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that's crazy productive. Oh my lord. 126 and I know that there's like a couple of yeah here's one 99 wasn't there like yeah there was also like two over here 126 190 oh my goodness <laughs> oh man <laughs> craziness I tell you craziness absolute madness Right then, well, um, it is time for us to set up a station over here, however, the thing is that we have this train line over here and my plan really is to have the station be over here and have that be separate from this network till uh, we have need for a junction or so of sorts, but for now I, I'm thinking of building the station for the sawmill really like over here and just have the tracks go up you know just go above it and have it not be interfering and then later on we can always add more junctions so yeah the station's going to be all the way over here now oh yeah you don't even need any production increasing stuff so that's really good um right then well I think we should get this set up, but that and more all has to wait for next time when we play more OpenTTD.